How do you feel about coming to school now? It's really great. What are you looking forward to? Math. Math? Wow, how smart. What part of math do you like? Time table. Time table, okay. We're going to check back with you at the end of the school year and see how it, how it went. We know you're going to do great. Okay. Thank you. The community school attracted me as a professional educator because of the arts integration, the Waldorf-inspired pedagogy that blends so well with the Common Core standards of California and improving the education of our students, and blending what we take from a Waldorf education and what we get from the California state standards and creating this really integrated um, education experience where we can include the arts, uh, practical education like handwork, knitting, but we can also bring in more modern aspects of technology, working with the kids in a very purposeful way. What I'm looking forward to for this upcoming year is seeing our school really grow. We've grown, we've got uh, a couple of added grades and so now the older children are going to be mentors and role models to the little kids and I'm excited about that. We have seventh grade and as we know the younger children look up to big kids because they want to be big so now they have role models and that's a positive because it's a safe environment for them and the, the older children can interact with the younger ones to teach them and also to have fun so they can remember it's okay to be a kid too. They don't have to grow up so fast. You can raise your hand and tell me. Who is excited to be at school and see their friends? <laughs> Do squirrels did run around a tree chasing tails so merrily? Round and round the tree they ran Stirring faster, faster, then they ran so fast they were a blur whose tails were whose they were not sure. Freeze! Nice freeze. On your head. All right, so today, those of you that said that you don't have a lot of books to choose from at home, Michelle's and Juan's mom brought a box of books that were donated, donated to them, and so you can take some. So you have books to read for your homework this week. Or you can keep them because they were free. And I'm going to locate lots of free books for you because they exist and you can take them home. And you keep them by your bed and read them for free. Do I cut them out on the next side? Go here. Do I cut them out? Put those out on that side? Uh, oh, there's a top. What about my hat?